<laughs> I love it that when I get x-rayed, I actually gain hair, which is cool. <laughs> So this is TLD Draw Computer. If you're not familiar with TLD Draw, it's a really cool, very quick way, like a Scala Draw, to draw diagrams and things like that. Um, but they've come out with this computer version that allows it to have smarts by plugging it into, um, I believe, Gemini behind the scenes. But I saw a lot of chatter about it this today, so I thought I'd make a quick video about it. So let's let's dive in. Okay, let's have a look at the Hello World. So these are different nodes that we have. Oh, okay, I'll leave it on there. Uh, hello world, press it, click button, when the component runs, it will send the data directly to the next component. Okay, makes sense. Let's go to the next one. This is an image component. When an image runs, it will create an image based on the data it received. Oh, okay. Fish living its best life. Let's have a look. Yeah, <laughs> cool. <laughs> okay, let's, uh, whoops, let's try something. How about, let's make it a bit big. Whoa, make it a bit bigger and let's try um, a developer working at convex mashing out the code making the crowd go wild <laughs> yeah this is how i see myself every day yeah yeah moving on many inputs many outputs a component will run when its input components are finished running text a watercolor painting be a photo of me. There we go. So let's try that as a watercolor painting. What will I look like as a watercolor? <laughs> I wish. I wish I had a mop of hair like that. <laughs> and what do what do I look like as a website? I don't even know what that is. A modern impressionism, captivating blend of color and form. Okay, well, I'm not entirely sure what that website is, but fine. Okay, I understand what's going on here. Next, the instruction component lets you create custom outputs from its inputs. Text, basket cats, what? write the rules for the game, write a newspaper article summarizing the championship game based on the rules. Okay, this one is a lot more complicated. Okay, let's go. What does this button do? You can connect regular text. In. Is this button supposed to be there? <laughs> I like it. Now let's change it to, seeing as it's doing sports, okay. So, sports ball. So I see, ah, I see, so this is the instruction block, okay. Score more points than the opposing team by hitting the ball and running bases. Okay, you need bat spiked shoes for sports ball, okay, right. Okay, very good. Let's see what an image of sports ball would look like. It's baseball, okay, all right. Okay, let's try again. Sports ball is a sport where you hit the ball with cats and confetti comes out. Let's see what happens. Players take turns hitting the sports ball using improved implement. <laughs> improved implement. Okay, what's an improved implement? Cat safety. Cats should land in a design safe area and then collect it and return gently. Failure to comply and results loss of points and potential disqualification. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. What? Does this guy's got a tail? <laughs> okay. Moving on. Arrow labels work like named parameters. You can refer to them inside the instruction components. So text United States, forestry, topic, country, write an interesting fact based on the country. Okay, so we press play, let's see what it does. United States is more than 750 million acres of land making. Okay, good to know. All right, well, let's try uh, convex.dev and then we'll say technology to solve Colve. Solve my, my idea. Okay, let's try this. Plan to create a chat app using Convex. Mm. So it's good to know that Gemini has got some understanding of Convex. I wonder what, let's have a look. I wonder if I then plug this into this website that we've seen. I wonder what this would kick out. Let's have a look. Huh. Okay, so obviously this is just gonna create a very uh, <laughs> Google looking uh, application. Um, 
But yeah, cool. Very cool. All right, moving on. <laughs> you can use TLD Draw's frame shape to provide drawings as inputs. Oh, cool. Super cool. Describe this image as if it was a great work of art. Okay, let's try. Oh, I see. So it can use image to image. So you can do image to image transfer. Oh, nice, nice. Okay, let's try this. I've got to try this. Let me delete all that. Now let's try something else. Okay, let's try do, hmm. Let's see if I can draw a dog. Uh, a dog, oh, okay. Um, okay, and then we've got to have a tail. Oh, oh no, that's more of a pig. Okay, we're drawing a pig now. We're drawing a pig, it's okay, don't worry about it. It's now a pig. Uh, and then it's got, oh, it's got ears. Oh, it's a dog again now. Okay, all right, <laughs> let's go. Let's see what it makes of this. Uh, gotta go that, let's try. Simple line drawing executed with inhibited confidence of a child. <laughs> okay. It's not merely representing a dog. It is a dog. Okay, that's good to know. Yay! We have a dog. Started off as a dog, turned into a pig. Now it's a dog again. Great. Anyway, moving on. Arrow labels work like name parameters. You can refer to them inside of the instruction program. The Beatles, I want to hold your hand. Is this a song about love? Yes, yes. Okay, so if we press. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. Yep, it's about love. Okay. So let's try something else. Um, allow me to write my database scheme in a strongly typed manner. Maybe. Yay. Okay. All right. And then so if we put in just another technology, any technology, let's find out. No. Okay. All right. Well, that's good to know. Moving on. West of house. You're standing in an open field. White house. Okay. There's, what would you do? Okay. So we, um, there's small box open. The mailbox, of course. So if we do that, so then it creates a new game state based on the current game state. I see, so that instruction plus this goes into this. You open the mailbox and find a key. Okay, okay, so come back around again. So then we say, examine the key where it be used. Okay, try the key in the front door, it works, the door opens, cool. Okay, I wonder whether we could actually then create an image of this as we go. That would be really cool. So can I, can I then create an image from that game state? Let's have a look. Cool. Okay. All right. So let's keep going then. So you open the front door, uh, go inside the house and look around. So then it creates a new game state. You're inside a small white house. There is a wooden table in the center of the room and a fireplace in the far wall. A staircase leads upstairs. It's closed doors to the office. Let's see what image it comes up with. Oh, this is pretty cool. So now we can then say, go up the stairs. You at the top, top of the stairs, a small white house. There's a closed door to the east and a closed door to the west. Let's have a look. <laughs> um, that's not <laughs> exactly right. Well, yeah, the last one was pretty good, so I'll give it a pass. Okay, next. It intervals are weighted interpolate with two inputs. Oh, I see. Okay, so it just writes that. So let's see. What what would a blend of convex.dev and Firebase be? A serverless platform. Okay. So, convex.dev, Firebase lines, <laughs> okay, and Firebase, Firebase convex, beautiful. Okay, let's so let's see if we do. Hang on, let's try. And if we combine those two together, we should have some sort of crazy super mega framework, and we get serverless functions and database functions. Okay, well I guess that kind of makes sense. It's like the overlapping of two of them together. Try it again to see what it get. Both Firebase Convex offer valuable features. Okay. 
fair play. Fair enough. Okay, okay. Some of these examples. X-ray machine, battle simulator, spaceship. Yeah. I don't know. Let's try X-ray machine. Let's have a look. Click here to upload an image. Okay. Press the button to X-ray. Well, okay. Let's use my handsome self. We can try X-raying me. <laughs> I love it that when I get x-rayed, I actually gain hair, which is cool. <laughs> Great, okay. Oh, I've got an idea, okay, okay. Bear with me one second, I've got an idea. Okay, so <laughs> this is one I've built, uh, because, you know, why not? Uh, put Take an image, the instruction, is he handsome? And let's see, <laughs> let's see what the AI says. Oh God, this could be painful. Go on, please. Yay! Okay. <laughs> I think we could do better though. Okay, so let's see now whether me plus wearing a woolen jumper. So we'll combine those two together. <clears throat> it should generate a new image of me, which then should get fed into the instruction, is he handsome? So let's see if me with a woolen jumper is still handsome. Oh, there I am. <laughs> Jeez. I suddenly grew hair as well. Oh yeah, I am still a real looker, even with a woolen jumper. That's that's good to know. That's good to know. Got another idea. Let's let's okay. So okay, now I think I'm getting a little bit too handsome. So if I it comes up saying yeah, I'm really handsome, and the new instruction is to take that image plus give me an outfit that will make me look less handsome, feed that back into the prompt. So. Let's 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 see what happens here. So let's let's go start from here. So I should be handsome with this one. Yeah. Okay. Now into here. So it should feed back through and update this text. The track for the man's attractive will steer clear of current sophisticated style. Okay. Instead, imagine more ill-fitting high-waisted coat, corduroy pants. Okay. <laughs> so it generates the image. <clears throat> Oh yeah, looking good, except it doesn't look anything like me anymore, but sure. Oh cool, I am now fugly, officially. Okay, can I, what will happen now, now if it comes around again now? Oh dear, what's, okay, what's happening? Okay, is it generated this again? Oops. Okay. Truly unflattering look. Oh, okay, so it's just, he's just really going for like the Harry High Pants kind of style. Is, uh, is what we consider to be ugly. It's, it doesn't look anything like me though, but you know, no worries. That's, I'm totally okay with that. <laughs> I should probably stop this infinite loop of madness. Okay, so I was looking through a few of the other examples and I noticed that they have this data component thing. Uh, so you can call HTTP endpoints. So that got me thinking, hmm, how can I improve this? So now the image goes in and if it's handsome we get the instruction that comes around and it updates the uh, prompt but then it also pushes it out to convex so i can remember what not to wear in the future so let's try this out so if i'm handsome yeah i'm a real looker it's good to know okay Okay, then it goes the less handsome look. It tells me what I need to do. I need to do this stuff. Okay. And then it's going to regenerate. Yep, looking, definitely looking less handsome. That's good to know. But at the same time, it should have pushed it. It has. It's pushed it into my database here. So, <laughs> so just to prove that this is uh, doing what it's saying. So if it takes this less handsome version, which is... Yeah, it's, it's a look, it's a look, I'd say. Um, <laughs> and then we run it again, then it should generate a new one and we should see it go into the database here in a second. Yep, there we go, we saw it come in and we see it pushes it into our view here. And there we go, and <laughs> it's updated it again. It's definitely really, um, it's definitely really my kind of, my kind of look there. I couldn't help myself. Over lunch, I decided to do just one more uh, addition to this. 
Um, I noticed that it was generating kind of the same output every time. Um, so I decided to add another convex um, function here, so called uh, get all. So what that's going to do is it's going to go into the convex database here and return all the past outfits. Uh, and then we're going to call that with our HTTP endpoint here, get all, and it's going to return back all the past outfits. So what that means is that now when this runs, it returns back a list of the past outfits, passes that into the instruction, which then is used to generate the next terrible outfit for me to wear. So hopefully we're going to get different outfits this time. So uh, let's give this a crack. Um, let's go from here. <laughs> nice. Okay, so, uh, okay. Depends how many drinks I've had, whether he's handsome or not. Okay. Okay, so, oh, actually, that's not going to carry on, is it? Because it's not a good look. Okay, so let's carry on. So if we go into here, so now it's going to generate a new uh, outfit based upon past ones. Tragically unfashionable ensemble. Masterclass intentional attractiveness. A stained, oversized beige turtleneck. Sweater made of stretchy, thin material. High waisted light gray polyester pants. Yeah, nice. Okay, so, okay, that hasn't gone into the is he handsome? Is, it, is this handsome? Do we consider this handsome? Let's find out. No. Okay, good to know. All right, so then if we go let's run it one more time, let's see whether we get something completely different. So, what we're going to get this time, we'll get an error, lovely. Uh, lime green oversized cardigan with mismatched buttons. Okay, let's just generate what that looks like. Yeah, yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah, I think it's time to stop. <laughs> so there we have it. I think I've had <laughs> maybe a little bit too much fun with this today, but it is a very powerful tool. And I can imagine so many use cases where you can create very quick prototypes and then iteratively using that HTTP endpoint, pass it into an actual database like Convex uh, to, to produce really, really quick prototypes. Um, that are just really fun and allow you to explore the solution space. So yeah, let me know what you think in the comments down below and uh, until next time, bye.